Hey guys, we are doing Reader's Notebook pages 58 and 59. You're gonna proofread for your spelling words. Proofread the invitation, circle the six misspelled words. So we know that there are six. Then write the correct spellings on the lines below. Dear Kara, you are invited to my party. We know that's not how we spell party. It will be in the park. Park doesn't have an E on the end. On Center Street. So we know party. P-A-R-T-Y. And park. P-A-R-K. So we can come over here and write, erase park and erase party. There we go. Okay, find three, four, five, and six on your own. Then come down to the bottom. We're putting words in ABC order, part, and it's gonna help you if you write these out. Well, first, actually it's gonna help you if you write them out first, well, no, just write them like this. Part, star, yard, farm, arm, spark. Okay. Underline the first letter of every word. Okay. Now, we look at the first letter of each word. That's how we put words in alphabetical order. So, when we say our ABCs, which letter comes first? A. So, do you see any A's? Yes, arm. So, arm is the word that we write first. Okay, then we B, C, D, E, F. Yep, F for farm. G, H, I. We know that the next letter that comes in the alphabet is P because P comes before S and Y. So number nine is going to be part. Okay. Now, when you have two words that begin with the same letter, in order to put them in alphabetical order, you move on to the next letter. If the next letter is the same, you move on to the next letter. If that's the same, you just keep on going and going until you find one. So S and S are the same, so we have to underline the second letter, T and P. So which one comes first, T or P? P, so spark would come before star. Spark, star, and then lastly our word is yard. Okay. Pause if you need to finish this, then move on to page 59. We are writing proper nouns. Proper nouns, remember, are special people, places, and things that we have to capitalize. That's why we always capitalize names, um, holidays, street names, months of the year, days of the week, restaurants, stores, special things. The store is closed on Thursday. Thursday is underlined, so we need to write it correctly on the line. And all we do is capitalize, Thursday. Okay, so if the word is underlined, we're gonna capitalize it because we know that it's a proper noun. So pause to do that now. Then come down and you're gonna read the paragraphs Write words from the box to tell when. My mom loves blank. So she loves July, every Saturday, next Sunday, Mother's Day, Father's Day. The holiday is blank. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that it's Mother's Day. Because moms, we celebrate moms on Mother's Day. So, my mom loves Mother's Day. 
make sure that you capitalize both Mother's and Day because they're both part of the holiday name. The holiday is blank. July, every Saturday, next Sunday, or Father's Day. Okay, we know that Mother's Day is not in July, and it's not every Saturday, and the holiday is not Father's Day. <laughs> it could be next Sunday, depending on when this was written. So, we can write next Sunday. Okay. She wants flowers. Dad buys them at Lou's Flower Shop. Mom's birthday is in blank. Okay, what's a month that your birthday can be in? July. Dad loves blank. Dad loves every Saturday or Dad loves Father's Day. Which one makes the most sense? Father's Day. Okay. He wants to sleep late. Mom says he gets to sleep late every Saturday. All right, so notice in these, we capitalized Mother's and Day and Father's and Day, but we didn't capitalize next or every. Hmm, why is that? Because they are not part of the word that needs capitalized. They are not part of the proper noun. Day, that's part of the holiday. But next and every are just words that we put in there. Okay. All right. So once you're finished with these, take your reading test and your spelling test. And then you'll be finished for the day.